finally here. There's been a lot of controversy over the Turner Motorsports CSL airbox since it does not utilize the stock CSL snorkel. For those who don't know, the snorkel draws colder air directly from the external environment via a small inlet on the CSL bumper. Turner's R&D released a chart showing that their CSL airbox actually flows better than both the stock airbox and other CSL airboxes. So how is it that TMS achieved this? Is this marketing? We don't think so. The answer to why the TMS airbox flows better is simple. Laminar airflow which is achieved by the velocity stack design. When we look at the Turner airbox, we see the bell curve style velocity stack. When we compare that to the stock CSL airbox, we see that it uses a flat flange. Now, viewing this chart, we can see when compared to a velocity stack, the flat flange limits airflow and simply doesn't compete. In theory, this would make the TMS design superior for airflow. In fact, this concept of airflow has been used in aviation design for years. Hey, I always knew my M3 could fly. Many of you will say that this airbox cannot draw cold air like it does with a snorkel. While there has been debate over cold air making a difference on the dyno, let's assume that cold air does in fact make a significant difference. This being the case, there are solutions to getting cold air without the use of a snorkel. Using a RAM air device such as the one shown here, cold air can be drawn into the engine bay. It isn't important that it isn't hooked up like the stock CSL snorkel. The Velocity Stacks design will ensure that this cold air is drawn in at maximum flow, arguably better than the stock snorkel's small inlet on the bumper. If the previously mentioned RAM air system isn't something you'd like, there are many other options, such as an air inlet via the left side headlight, or these simple scoops installed on the kidney grills. In theory, using Turner's Velocity Stack design, along with a means of bringing cold air into the engine bay, is a winning combination. Talking time is over. Let's open it up. What do you think of it? You like it? What do you say? You want one in your car? Yeah? <laughs> Kit has everything you need. The only thing left is an Alpha N tune for the ECU. Based on our first impressions, we honestly believe the TMS air intake box is the perfect solution for the CSL conversion, both in performance and in cost. We're really looking forward to seeing what the dyno has to say about it. It's so amazing to see continued R&D for what has become a classic BMW. So hey, thank you Turner. What a beautiful product by Turner Motorsports. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss the upcoming install guide. We're gonna be doing a complete review showing you every step of the way of the install. And of course you'll get to see how it runs and how it sounds. If you'd like to have your own, please use the link in the description to check out this kit for yourself.